Our next guest, incredible head football coach. Oregon State for the last few years, now the new head football coach for the Michigan State Spartans. Jonathan Smith joins the Dan Patrick Show. Welcome to the show, Jonathan. Yeah, thanks for having me, Ryan. Good to see you, man. It's good to see you, too. I appreciate you doing this. Uh, I'm a huge fan of yours. Um, I've watched you from when you were a player in college at Oregon State to how you've risen through the ranks in the coaching tree. Uh, you know, started in, you know, in Idaho and Montana and then at Washington and ultimately became the head man at Oregon State. And what you were able to accomplish there over the last few years, I think, is is outstanding. Um, but but I think a lot of people with the way the realignment has come uh, were probably a little surprised, but not too shaken when the idea of maybe moving somewhere else from your alma mater came to fruition. Talk to us about that move and and what ultimately uh, made you decide to head, head to East Lansing. Right. You know, these decisions are never really uh, easy. Uh, understanding the kind of the weight of you know, one person's decision affects a lot of people. Um, thoroughly enjoyed my time at Oregon State. It got a great, deep appreciation for that place, the people, um, that kind of thing. And But the more and more uh, the landscape continues to change, um, put some thought into, you know, the next, hopefully coaching for the next 10, 15 years, what that looks like. Um, got into some conversation with Michigan State and the more and more looked into it, I felt really good about the fit, the opportunity, the resources here, the people, the leadership and aligned with, you know, wanting to compete at the highest level. And so was like excited about, you know, taking on this challenge opportunity and now I've been doing it for about th three months and, and uh, really uh, enjoyed getting around these players and, and this community. It's a drastic shift in, in color scheme. You know, you go from orange and black to a real, you know, green and green and white. Um, this was a good question. You've been in, you've been a head coach. You've been coaching for a long time, but I don't know if maybe there's a better understanding than somebody's new to the the NIL, the transfer portal aspect of things, uh, for what you need to do. We're in March right now. There's no really football coaching. Where where is the football coaching now on the list of things that you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's meeting with NIL collectives or if it's, I mean, just kind of talk to us about what a head coach in college football has to do on a day-to-day -day basis right now. Yeah. You know, it's a, uh, and there, each head coach chooses kind of how he's going to invest his time and, and things. Cause there is a lot of ways to do it. Um, I know on my end, yeah, heavy amount on the recruiting side, uh, call it a collective, uh, just trying to create more, more and more opportunities for your players and for your program. And so I spend a lot of time doing that. Um, we got a big staff, right? We've got a bunch of, I think, really good coaches and they're they're heavy on the, the schematic end of that. We start spring ball here less than two weeks. And so we're getting ready for that and strength staffs big time. And they've been working with the guys. And so I do spend more of my time, um, call it a CEO level, but some of these, you know, opportunities for the players recruiting and then making sure the day-to-day uh, schedule is is operate the recruiting process now uh, you know your and I days it was all about the high school recruits and and yeah. almost like a farm system they come in they spend four years red shirt w where is most of your resources placed in the high school aspect of things or really uh, with the transfer portal and, and, and looking around the country yeah we still want to be heavy in the high school side we want to be a place of development um, recruiting high school players will still be a priority for us. It just can't be the only way you add to your roster. We know the landscape now and opportunities to, to add to your roster from the portal. Uh, we still are going to be in that more immediate need, uh, more player that's in his second, third, fourth year type thing. But majority, we still want to be uh, high school heavy, starting the inside out in the state of Michigan into Ohio and the Midwest and build it that way. Yeah, speaking of that, so transplant from the West Coast, of course, you're from Pasadena, you go to Oregon State, you hate the Ducks, as do I. Um, <laughs> when, is it day one, do you, do you step on campus in East Lansing and all of a sudden you just, you, you look around and you go, I, you know, I hate Michigan. How is it instilled in you as a new head coach for the Spartans? Yeah, I mean, for me, I've been around rivals, right? In-state rivalries, and those things are uh, important and meaningful. So it didn't take me long uh, <laughs> getting over here to understand that, yeah, there's another school in the state that um, that we don't like a ton and all of that. And that's why I go back to the fit for me coming to a place that I love that, that having an in-state rival um, that we get to compete in 
not just in football. I mean, you look at you know, basketball going and all the other sports, it's fun to be on a college campus that way. Uh, the Big Ten Conference expanding. Uh, you know, you, you walk into a situation, ironically, where you're going to see that Oregon team once again, Washington, a place where you resided for some time. Um, when the decision was made and, and some of the answers you gave around the reasoning, I mean, the Big Ten and the SEC really feel like that is the, the, the players in college football right now. It, how important is it to be in a, a conference where you feel like you have the best type of competition, where you can go up and down the roster of teams that are on, in that conference where you're going to be competitive year in, year out, and, and give you the best chance to be seen as a best team out there? Yeah, I think it's been, you know, proven. You know, Big Ten, SEC, just looking at even last year's playoff and who was in the, the championship game and coming from this conference. I do feel excited. It's to be a challenge, but playing in a, at a conference at the highest level that uh, is, you know, solidified itself in history. And now I, I do feel the future is really, really bright for Big Ten football. Big conversation around the college football playoff, where that's going to look, where it's going to go. Uh, realignment still is a big conversation. Uh, you know, where where do you see yeah. the overall structure of college football, maybe let's say in five years? Yeah, that's a good question. And I uh, I really don't know. It continues to change those conversations. I do think, you know, more opportunity, more people, uh, teams, universities getting into the playoff, I think is important. Um, I will say, been busy for three months, dialed in on this place, excited about building this roster, spring football, I haven't put a ton of time or even in those conversations yeah. on what it's going to look like uh, the next you know five years. Well, it's a big part of being a head coach, right? You talk to your kids, it's something you can't control right now. You don't know. And and uh, 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 we're stopping. It is. Yeah. I mean, that's where you talk to them. I mean, we don't control that aspect of it. What we do control is this, you know, schedule we got for this fall that we're you know putting a lot of work into to play. Yeah, it's a big part of what uh, what you and I discussed when I came out to Corvallis a couple years ago. Love to get to East Lansing again now and that would spend be some great. time with you and your staff. Um, yep. Before we get out of here, it's 1994. You're sitting in Ryan Leaf's living room with mom and dad. Uh, what's your What's your Michigan State pitch to uh, one well, of the, one of the top quarterbacks in the country? Yeah, we're talking. Well, whether we're talking offense, we want to be a place of substance. Talked about development already. I do think in this transactional environment, which is just a piece of the pie, totally a piece of the pie now, but there's still other pieces of that from academic side, getting a college degree, uh, the day in and day in, day in, day out, development, treatment, relationship building, big time campus, university, the education, world renowned, all of that I'd be discussing with you. Yeah, I, you know, it's a sum of all its parts. And, uh, you know, when you guys talk to these players, it's tough to understand that, you know, 1% of these guys are going to play in the NFL. And so there has to be all those other components that you talk about. And you've done a tremendous job with it. Before you get out of here, just talk about your transfer. Uh, you, you know, Aiden Childs, he comes from Oregon State. You, you really utilized him, I thought, in a unique way last year, having a set series for him to come in for DJ uh, and did a tremendous job. Expectations for him and how excited are you for you, for you to have him on campus? Well, definitely excited because we do feel like, you know, really good person, player, talented, all those things. Did get him some experience last year, which which was earned, getting him in the third series about every game. Yep. Uh, and he showed that he he's more than ready to, to play at a really high level. I think he's got a comfort level over here just schematically, right? The offense ain't dramatically changing on him, and, and he's dove into this place. Uh, I think he's fitting in well in a locker room. He didn't come in trying to be the face of the program from day one. He's come in and went to work, and – and he's not alone. We've got a bunch of other guys, but we're excited about Aiden's you know, potential and seeing him uh, throw the ball around. I'm excited, too. Uh, I was excited to hear that uh, you were going to come on today. And, uh, uh, you know, a big fan of yours, as you know. So continued success. Good luck in East Lansing. And, you know, hopefully I'll get out there here soon. Yeah, I'd love to get you out here for sure. Speak to the team again. This guy's been ph phenomenal when he's uh, speaking to teams. So we want, we want to get you out. I appreciate that, Coach. Uh, good to see you. Good luck this year. And thanks for coming on. Okay. Thanks, Ryan. You bet. Jonathan Smith, everybody, new head football coach for the Michigan State Spartans.